Hello, students. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, how are you? I hope everybody's doing fine. Yes, yes, teacher, I'm fine. Okay, so we're going to we're going to work a little bit today on different uh, different things, different practices, and right now we're going to be uh, well. We're going to start the class. Okay. We're going to work a little bit on uh, the review of yesterday, right? So I hope everybody's doing great. So hi, how are you? Mm -hmm. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Okay, so today I have uh, some difficulties with the background. Because if I play it, I cannot see my, my shirt, as you can see right now. So that's why we are not going to have a background in this class, okay? So, uh, but we are here. I am very, very glad that everybody is present in this lesson, okay? So I am going to share my screen so you can see the PowerPoint. Great. Great. So let me know when you are able to see it. Okay, let me know when you can see it. Okay, teacher. Perfect. Yes, so perfect. tell me everybody, <laughs> how are you doing in this day? How was your day? Was it good, bad, so, so? I need you to use the reactions on the chat for you to tell me how your day was. So if your day was fantastic, I need you to send me a like on the reactions. If your day was so, so, send me there another another emoticon on the reactions, but I need you to uh, to show me there how your day was with a like there on the reactions. And we're going to be working on that today. So I am very, very pleased that all of you are here, that all of you are fine. So I hope that you enjoyed the class today. So I want to see your reactions there on the chat or or there in the reactions of the platform. There, send me a like if your day was good or you can choose another reaction. There, I am receiving there the reactions. That's amazing. Very beautiful, right? You can send me a heart, a like. There, the ones that you prefer. So that's very, very good. Okay, so today we are going to start the class a little bit with Okay, remembering the agreements, right? We're going to remember the agreements, practice your English as much as possible, please, right? Be respectful and be polite. Uh, attend all your classes. Remember, you are very important for the program. Keep your cameras active most of the time. time. Uh, remember to work on the educational platform, right? Work on the educational platform. It is very, very necessary. And keep an active and cooperative activity in the WhatsApp group. Thank you for all the ones that were sharing today. There are their messages that you were sharing, uh, little likes, little comments, and that was very, very beautiful. Even if it's very early in the morning, it's very nice to receive a little message there, uh, remembering that someone is there, pendant of you. So thank you very much for all the nice messages on uh, the WhatsApp group. Thank you also for the reactions on the chat. Thank you for sending me the emoticons there. There you have good, good evening. The day was very good, right? Jessica sent an emoticon with sunglasses. So I think the day was amazing, right? That was very, very nice. Excellent. So we're going to start today by asking a little question. What did we talk about yesterday? I need volunteers to raise their hands in the platform and tell me a little bit about yesterday. What did we do yesterday? Uh -huh. 
any volunteer, raise your <clears> hand <throat> on the platform. Roberto Donay, tell me. Just yesterday, uh, we talked about adjectives and adverbs. Very good. We talk about adjectives and adverbs, right? Very nice. What else did we talk about? Any other volunteer? Intensifier. Intensifiers, yes. right? Intensifier. We talk about intensifiers. Very nice. We talk about intensifiers as well. Okay, I need someone else to give me examples. examples. Very beautiful. Uh -huh, very beautiful. Extremely dangerous. Extremely dangerous. Very good. Relax. What else? Relax, right? We talk about relax. That's very good. Dangerous. Dangerous. Amazing. Amazing. Good. Very, very good. Very expensive. Very expensive. Uh, right? Funny. Good. Very uh, funny. Incredible. Really incredible. Right? Very good. Very, very good. Smart. Very smart, right? We talk about also very smart. Okay, today I, as you can see, I am not going to use the background because you see, it looks strange. Or what do you think? Should I leave it there? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I, I am going to leave it there. Right? I, I, I look like a floating face because of my shirt, but it's okay. So we're going to leave it there for a moment. So okay. cool, very good. <laughs> It looks crazy, but it looks nice. Okay, so let's continue here. We're going to go with the next one, right? Thank you for all the examples that you were sharing. So I have some examples here for everybody, right? I have some examples here uh, for you to check. And they say, right, I have a sentence right here and I need you to complement the sentence with a part that it's next to it, right? In this case, with one of the sentences right here. So I need you right now to individually read the four elements that we have here, and I need you to work and compare with the ones that we have next to it, okay? So right now, I need you to read them individually, right? One, two, three, and four, and Later, we're going to complement them with one of the ones that we have next to it. Okay? Looks like. Ha. Interesting place. Okay, so here, what we're going to do is the following. We are going to check on the ones that we have on this side, and we're going to complement the sentence with the ones on the other side, okay? So here we have, what's soul like? Is it an interesting place? And then it says, uh, sí. it can be, it can be. Oh, really? It's beautiful and very clean. It has great harbor and beautiful beaches, right? You can use this one or you can uh, choose the next one. Can you help me to read the next one? Yes, I can. Okay. Another place, but I love it. It's an excellent resta restaurant. Very good job, right? Yes, uh, I have. It's an extremely large and crowded, but I love it. It has excellent restaurants. It can be that answer, but we don't know. What about the next one? Yes, it has amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. Or the last one, no, it's really, not really. It's too small and it's really boring. That's why I moved away, okay? Which one do you think it's the correct option for this situation? B. Okay. B. What's option so light? B. Is it an interesting place? When you use the form, is it an interesting place? You are using a yes, no question. So we need to have a yes, no answer. It's the letter C. Mm -hmm. And it says, yes, very good, because we need uh, we need to complement this with a just no answer. And in this case, it's the following. And it says, what's so like? Is it an interesting place? And it says, yes, it is. It has amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. Okay, very good job. 
Remember that one. If you have, for example, is it, you need to have a yes, no question as an answer, okay? Number two, let's analyze number two. Do you like your hometown? Why or why not? And you have to give me a reason because you are asking D. why or D. why D. not. There are, there are D. 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 Not really, you say. It's too small and it's really boring. That's why I move away. Okay, and it's a reason, right? In this case, this one is a reason. And you say, mm, not really. It's too small and it's really boring. That's why I moved away. Very good job. The next one, it says, what's Sydney like? I have never been there before. Okay. A. A. Option A. And it says, oh, there really? There oh, there really? I'm very clear. Really? There, there be. Yes, I should. It's really yeah. B. Uh -huh. So we're going to have a little discussion here. Do you consider that it's letter A or letter B? A. 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 A okay, so A. we're going to have a little, a little survey here. <laughs> Well, in this case, all the ones who said letter A, they were correct, right? Okay. Because it says, what's Sydney like? I've never been there. Oh, really? That you have never been in Sydney? It's beautiful and very clean. It has a great bar harbor and beautiful beaches, right? You are describing it because on the question you asked, what's Sydney like? So if you are asking for a description, in the question, then you are going to have a little bit of description in the answers, okay? And the last one, have you ever been to Sao Paulo? Yes, I have. Yes, it is. Excellent job. I don't know how you got the answer. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yes, I have. It's an extremely large and crowded place, but I love it. It has excellent restaurants. Okay, so have you ever been to El Salvador? You say like, yes, I have. <laughs> have you ever been to El Salvador, students? Yes, I have. Yes, yes. always, <laughs> always I have been in El Salvador. It is an extremely beautiful place, right? It's it has, more. It's extremely it's, small. <laughs> <laughs> it is extremely small, right? Small. But I think that is like the perfumes, right? Perfumes and the best perfumes come in a small packages. So El Salvador yeah. is one of the perfect perfumes. Yes. So but let's the people, the people is great. Say people are it's great. great. People are great because are great. remember that okay. uh, people is for plurals. Excellent. Okay. Okay, Teacher, let's I let's have practice. a question. Uh-huh. Tell me. Uh, Si se usa extremely small, ¿por qué no utilizar tiny? Okay. Sí, sería okay. como diminuto también. Yes, but tiny is like when it's extremely like, uh, I think we cannot use that one for a country. Because imagine if it's a very tiny country, you can mention it. But I think it fits better the description if you say small, right? Tiny, it's more commonly used for objects. Right, and in this case, our country wouldn't be an object in this case, but it's, you can say, it's a tiny place, you say. It's a small place. So uh, I think it's extremely tiny. It's maybe for an object, it will be better. But in this case, if we are talking about the country, it is uh, better or more recommendable to use a small. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. So. Let's practice a little bit of the sentences that we have here. And it says, I am going to ask you the question and you are going to give me the answers. Okay, ready? Ready. Ready, ready, ready teacher. Ready. Are we ready? Ready. Ready, ready. very good ready. job. Ready, teacher. Excellent. So what's Seoul like? Is it an interesting place? Yes, pretty friendly. Excellent. Very good job. Do you like your hometown? Why or why not? 
July. Not really. Okay. It's, it's too small. It's really boring. It's really boring. It's really boring. Yeah. That's why I move away. Do you know the meaning of moved away? Do you know the yeah. meaning of moved away? That's it's it. Yeah. When you take mm -hmm. all your things and then you go to another city or to another country, right? That is the meaning of moved away. Mm -hmm. Very good. Imagine that you lived in La Unión and then you started working in San Salvador and you had to move away to San Salvador because now no it's your hometown. What's Sydney like? I've never been there. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? really? Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? Okay. Who knows the meaning of harbor? <clears throat> huh? Harbor? It's a, it's a port. Exactly. It's very similar to a port. Maria Jose, tell me. Yeah, yeah that that is going that well, I don't know how can I say it. <laughs> that should be my answer. Okay, you can say <laughs> Un puerto. That's what I was going to say. Okay, so, thanks. So you say, that's what I was going to say. Okay, that was my answer. You say. Very good. The next one. Uh, let me see. We Have were in been? number four. Have you ever been to Sao Paulo? Yes, yes, I love it. But I love it. It has excellent restaurants. Okay, very good job. <laughs> now I am going to ask for specific volunteers to answer my questions. Okay, Eric Fernandez. Okay. Yes. Okay, Eric Fernandez, open your microphone. You are going to answer the question. What's Seoul like? Is it an interesting place? Uh, okay. Yes, I had amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. Okay, yes, it has amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. Very good job. Excellent. Two claps for you. Thank Very you. Very nice. <laughs> The next one, we're going to go with chun, chun, chun. Dina Contreras. Ready? Okay. <laughs> Do you like your hometown? Why or why not? No, uh, really it's too small and it's really boring. That's why in, I moved it away, away. I I moved away, right? That's why okay. I moved away. Very good job. Two claps for you. Very nice. Let's go with, chun, chun, chun. we're going to go with another boy, Adonai Gutierrez. Mr. Adonai. What's Sydney like? I have never been there before. Oh, really, it's beautiful and very clean. It has a clean harbor and beautiful beaches. Good, very good job. Two claps for you, very nice. You say, oh, really? That's for you to intensify the question. You say, oh, really? Is it like, hey, I have never tried the pupusas. Are they good? Oh, really? <laughs> you say, really, teacher, come on. <laughs> Oh, really? Okay, very good job. And we're going to finish with Ailey. Ailey Michelle. Have you ever been to Sao Paulo? Yes, I have. It's uh, extremely rare and proud place, but I love it. Is a he has excellent restaurant. Excellent job, very good. Thank you. Two claps for you, right? Remember, what is the meaning of crowded? Many crowded. people. Exactly, when there are many people together, and boring. Aburrido. Aburrido, right? We are not boring because we are very. Ex extremely active in the class and that's amazing 
Okay, so today we're going to talk a, a little bit about conjunctions, right? That's a very funny word, conjunctions. We're going to talk about and, but, though, and however, right? We're going to talk about and, but, though, and however. So welcome to our class number two. And, but, though, and however. So have you ever heard these words before? Yes or no? Okay. Yes. Yes, right? Yes. We have heard these words before because they are very necessary when we connect sentences. For example, if you are connecting positive sentences, you use the word and. If you are contradicting, you use the word but. Though and however, you use them also to contradict. But I am going to explain you a little bit more about this ones, okay? So we have it right here and it says, and, but, however, and though. So that is the form that we're going to study today, right? These are the ones that we're going to use. I am going to make my line a little bit bigger for you to see it, okay? Ooh, not very good. Okay, these are the ones that we have. You have and, but, however, and though. Use and for additional information, as I was mentioning, right? It is an exciting city and the weather is great, right? In this case, you are using the word and to connect the information on the two sentences. Are we clear so far? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Good. Yes, teacher. And on the contrary, you say, but, however, and though, for contrasting information, right? You cannot say, for example, it is an exciting city, but the weather is great because you are not contradicting anything. And your message is going to be like, huh, really? What did you say? I didn't get it, right? And you can say, um, it is an exciting city, but the weather is horrible. In this case, you are contradicting the message, right? We have an example right here. It is very safe in the day, but it is pretty dangerous at night. In this case, I am not going to ask you for examples of these cases. <laughs> because here, you can tell me some good examples here, Miguel Salvador. So you say, it is very safe in the day, but it's pretty dangerous at night. I think every place in the world is like this. In the day is nice, but at night it's kind of dangerous. The next one, it's a fairly large city. It is not interesting, however, right? What is the meaning of however? Como sea. Como sea, or you can say sin embargo. Sin embargo. Exactly like that. Very nice. Excellent. You are on the game. You are on the play. And that's fantastic. So it's a fairly nice city. It's not too interesting, however. Right? And the next example that I have for you, the summers are hot and the evenings are fairly cold, though. Okay? In this case, the meaning of though is aunque. Aunque. Okay. Aunque, right? It's like hearing El Salvador, Aunque. right? That maybe in the day it's very hot, but at night, I think it's kind of nice, right? It's kind of fresh, right? The nights are fairly cold though, okay? So everybody, we're going to read the sentences and we're going to use a specific forms to contradict. So I, I need you to pay attention. In this case, when you add information with N, you say, it's an exciting city and the weather is great, right? The pronunciation is normal. In the next one, you say, it is very safe in the day, but, and you specify, but it's pretty dangerous at night. It's a fairly large, it's a fairly large city. It's not too interesting, however, right? The pronunciation changes. The summers are hot. The evenings are fairly cold, though. Okay? 
So let's practice the pronunciation of the sentences. Okay. It's an exciting city and the weather is great. It's an exciting it's city an and the weather is great. And the weather is great. It is very safe in the day, but it's pretty dangerous at night. It's very safe. It's very dangerous at night. But, right, remember to say that, but it's pretty dangerous at night. The next one. It's a fairly large city. It's not too interesting, however. It is a fairly large city. It is not too interesting, however. It is not too interesting, however. And the last one. The summers are hot. The evenings are fairly cold, though. Though, right? Pronunciation. And. 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 But. And. and but. However. However. Though. Though. So. Adelie, tell me. I was going to ask you something. Um, Go ahead. Uh, yeah, can I use however in the middle of a sentence? Like, yes. Uh, like, uh -huh. uh, uh, like um, I went to El Volcán, however, it didn't like me. Exactly. Very good. Yes, it is possible to use however in the middle of the sentences as well. Ah, okay. You can say it's a fairly large city. However, it's not too interesting, but it is more uh, common that you find it at the end of the sentences. All right. So, All right. Thank you. So it's possible, but it's more common to find it at the end and and, and but in the middle. Okay. Here we have, I need four hands up. Cuatro manitas arriba. Vamos a ver quiénes son los que me ganan. Cuatro manitas arriba. Go ahead. I have one, two. Excellent, excellent. I need one more, one more hand up. Excellent, good, I have the four. I have Evelyn Liliana, Eileen Recinos, Saraí Dominguez, and Diego Arturo. Okay, we're going to have number one, number two, number three, and number four. So we go with Eileen Recinos. You're going to be number one. Read this sentence that we have here. It's an exciting city and the weather is nice. Excellent job. Very good. It's the great. next one. The next one is going to be for Diego Arturo. Number two. It's very safe in the day, but it's pretty dangerous at night. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you read this one, but it's perfect. It's perfect, right? The next one, we go with Evelyn. We are going to read this sentence that I am going to mark right here. Okay, can you repeat, please? Number three. Okay, this one. I am marking the sentence right here. Can you check it? Um, okay, yeah, yes, I got it. So it's a big city, but it's not too big. Okay, it's a big city, but it's not too big. Good, very good. Let me see, I have, hey, where are my other hands up? I didn't see the next one. Who was the next one? Me, teacher. Okay, good. We're going to go right here. This one, go ahead. Okay. It's a big city, it's, um, it's not the big though. Very good job. And my last participant, the last sentence. Okay, who was my last hand up? And let me see, let me see. Marjorie? Okay, it is a big city. It's not too big, however. Very good job. Thank you very much, volunteers. You want a very, very beautiful mark here. Excellent job on the sentences. I will give you a heart. <laughs> okay, so let's continue here. And 
Now that you know how to use it, we are going to go and practice a little bit, okay? I am going to erase my marks right here. And as you can see here, we have some examples, right? We have some examples, and these are the ones that you are going to be working on. But you are not going to be alone on this one, okay? Don't feel stressed and don't feel worried. You are going to work together, right? And to do this, we are going to work a little bit in mini groups, okay? We are going to make small groups and we're going to work together. So please, I need you to a screenshot it. Um, I need you to a screenshot it. Is it to get to get around? Okay, I need you to get a screenshot. And we are going to go to mini groups and we are going to create the sentences. Okay? Teacher, I need... teacher, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. What is the pronunciation uh, the Taipei? Uh, Taipei. 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 Okay. Right? Taipei. Any other question? Okay. It's very nice, everyone is standing. Okay. I think all the other words are familiar for you, okay? Okay. Okay, so we are going to go to the rooms and I hope that you have the screenshot already. If not, you can do yes. it right now. And let's go to the rooms. I need you to copy the sentences in your notebook, okay? Because when we come back, we are going to share it with the group, okay? Okay. Let's go to the rooms right now. Remember some rules for the rooms. Practice your English and try not to use Spanish. Cool? Let's go to the rooms right now. Excellent. Let's go to the rooms. Okay, you are going to receive a message as an invitation to go to the rooms. Let's go right now. Okay, okay. Very nice. Okay, and I'm going to, I hope everybody's in the rooms. Okay, so right now we are just waiting for the other ones to enter to the rooms. Sarai, do you have any difficulty to enter to the rooms? Yes. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi, okay. tell me. I can, I can, uh, I can uh, a screenshot, compartirla, no podemos. Oh, you cannot share the screenshot. Okay, so I am Just going to... Okay, someone send it already, they say. Okay. So you got it? Yes? Yes. Okay, yes. so we're going to send the kids that are just missing. Pay pay is very Thank nice. Um, everyone is extremely friendly. Hello. Hey, Hello. we can listen to you. Yes, we can listen to you. Okay, me. Uh, they pay is very nice. Uh, everyone is extremely friendly. Uh, uh, so yeah, they pay is very nice. And um, every bar, everybody, or oh, everyone is extremely friendly. Very good job. Continue working. I'm going to go and check on the other groups, okay? Okay. Number two.
Okay, no problem here with the sentences. Hi, teacher. What Hi. is the meaning of Taipei? Is... It's the name of a city. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, it's the name of a city. Any other question? If not, remember to create the sentences in your notebook. So I don't know who is uh, leading the group. So we need a leader in the group because I cannot listen to you talking. We don't have a leader. <laughs> hey, okay. So Eric is going to organize the group, okay? Eric is going to be the one in charge of the group. Okay. Okay, so organize your classmates and I need you to work on the different sentences. Okay, I'm going to come back in a moment. Okay. And Maybe it's not too expensive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, number six, it's an amazing city. Sure. Yeah. And I, okay. yes. It's easy if we can in, the, in, share the, the screen. You cannot share the screen no, in this case. Only you. <laughs> okay, I am going to give you access to this. And I think. I think it is possible like this. Can you check if you can do it? Good, excellent. Okay. Amazing. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. I am going to stay here for a moment, checking on how you're doing it. And remember to talk and practice and everything, okay? Go ahead. Teacher, I, I, I don't understand well the, the exercise. Okay, we're going to complete sentences, right? Creating okay. them with one of the options that you have there. For example, in this case, you have and and but, and you have to complement the sentence with one of the two. For example, you can say, um, uh, Taipei is very nice, but everyone is extremely friendly. Or okay. you can say Taipei is very nice and everyone is extremely friendly. Okay. What is the option that you are going to choose? The and. Aha, exactly like that. So try to analyze all the sentences with the options that you have in the parentheses. And so when uh, you have the right answer, then you can check it on your notebook to say if you are going to use and or but, though or however, okay? Uh, and the class may have to practice some something. Okay, you have to create the sentences together because all of you need to have the answers, okay? Okay. Good, very nice. Right, so ask the different people. Number two, what do you think? It's and or though? Okay, okay, and then you discuss it. Cool? I, I, I am I going, going, okay. I'm going, um, to, I'm going to learn the number two. The so, street, uh -huh. the street are crowded. It's easy to get around. What do you think, Evelyn? Hello. The answer. Hello. Hello. Okay, good. Grandiose about all. Entonces sería en porque te estoy diciendo que las compras son grandiosas y puedes como ir al mercado, o sea, ajá. Ajá. Yo how to work in the market. Bargain. That's pronunciation. Bargain. Do you know what is the meaning of bargain? Hi. Hi. We need your help, please. Okay, it's regatear. Surprise. 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 Ah, okay. The meaning of bargain is regatear. Ah, regatear. Ah, o sea, pedir rebaja. Ah, 
Okay, thank you, teacher. That's very common in our country. Yeah, yeah you're very kind. <laughs> so remember yeah, in. that in the parentheses, you have the two options. You can okay. contradict or you can complement the information, okay? So we are in okay. number four. Hey, you are about to finish. Very nice. You are it's almost, uh-huh. Um, I believe it's but. No, it's and. and. And yeah, and you have to bring in the market. Sí. Okay. okay. Diciéndote, me gusta ir a comprar y puedo regatear todavía, o sea, está divertido, okay. no hay, porque puedo ir a buscar. Okay, so try to complement the sentences in the way you consider possible. Okay, I am going to okay. go to the next group to see if they need help. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye bye. I'm going to go to group number three. Bye bye. Oh. Okay, I am back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's very nice. Everyone is extremely free. Taipei is very nice and very well. Everyone is extremely friendly. 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 Yes. Number two. Yeah. Teacher and in the number five, we uh -huh. have about. Tell me. I suppose it's, and the food is delicious and it's not too expensive. Ha. Huh. So what is your doubt? Well, that, that you that you can use dough. <laughs> uh, I suppose the food is delicious. It's not too expensive, so it is possible. The two options are possible. Two options. Ah, yes, <laughs> yeah, because of the meaning that you want to convey, right? If you say that it's fantastic, that it's not a problem, that the food it's not that expensive. You can say, and the food is not that expensive. And if you want to add more information, right? And to contradict a little bit, you say like, it is good and it's not expensive though. So I think it's another option. Ah, that it's a tricky thing that I was, I, I added the tricky question. <laughs> good. So okay. continue working because I am going to take you back to the rooms in some seconds. So please uh, finish the exercise, okay? Okay. I am going to send a message for everybody. Teacher, teacher, yes. Only, only question. Uh, 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 in the platform, uh, the manual doesn't does 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 not in in the platform. I don't know. How okay, to... for this for this module, we don't have a manual, right? Uh, what we do in the classes will be our manual. Right, that's our manual. The one that we do in the classes, the things that we do here, that is the manual. And you can also use the PowerPoints that I am sending you as uh, uh, something for you to work on. So you can also use that, but we don't have any specific manual for this module, but the platform it's very organized and you can follow it like that, okay? So we're going okay. to go back to the rooms. Thank you, Tisha. Okay. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back to the mini groups, to all the mini groups that were out there. Welcome back. So let's continue here, right? Let's continue right here. And we're going to ask for different volunteers to give us the answers, right? Okay, Romulo, can you help us with the first sentence? Okay. Taipei is very nice. And everyone is extremely friendly. Okay, so uh, your group got end, right? And. For the first one. Good, very good job. 
For the next one, we're going to have group, uh, the next person, right? In this case, we got and for the answer, right? And everyone is extremely friendly. Let's see. Let's go with Sarai Dominguez. Can you help us with the next one? Yes. The streets are crowded. It's easy to get around though. Okay, it's easy to get around though, oh. right? So that's what you got is an answer for this one. Very good job. And the rest of the groups, is it correct? Yes or no? Yes. Excellent. Yes. Okay, yes. we're going to go with the next one. It says, uh, it's going to be for Mr. Amilcar. Can you help me with number three? Mr. Amilcar Escobar, can you help us with number three? The microphone is off. Three, two, okay, one. Okay. 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 <laughs> no, very good. Thank you. Thank you. The weather is nice. And how our summer get pretty hot? Good. So in this case, you got however, right? We got oh. however. And it says, uh, well, the weather is nice. Summers get pretty hot, however. Good, very nice. Okay. The next one, number four. Number four, it's going to be four. Let me see. Is it your birthday today, Roberto Donay? No, no. <laughs> okay, yeah. you have you have a feliz cumpleaños right there. I yeah. thought it was your birthday. <laughs> okay. We were going to sing right now, but no, it's not. Maria Jose, tell us. And then Roberto. Shopping is great, but you have to bargain in the market. Okay, very nice. Oh. And it says, shopping is great, but you have to bargain in the market. In this one, you have two options, right? In some cases, you like to go and bargain in the markets. And you can say shopping is great and you have to bargain in the market. Yes, you have the option, but in this case, uh, it is marking it as a contrary thing, right? Shopping is great. It is very nice, but you have to bargain in the markets, right? That it's the only exception. I think here in El Salvador, because we enjoy bargain. It's like $3, no, $2, no, $1.50, and we are correct. No, right? <laughs> so, but it's possible. In this case, but is the option. The food is delicious. It's not too expensive. Roberto, can you help us? The food is delicious and it's not too expensive. Ha. Ah. Okay. Very good. Do we have any other option? Yes. Oh. Do. Good. It is possible. Not too expensive. So it is possible, right? The two options are possible because they are logical, right? The two options are logical. Say the food is delicious and it's not too expensive. And the food is delicious, it's not too expensive though, right? In this case, we have options there for you to choose. And the last one, the last one that we have here, it's going to be for, chun, chun, chun. it's going to be for uh, Evelyn, go ahead. So Evelyn Lilian. Uh, it's an amazing city. I love and Sorry. it's an amazing city. And I love to hear. And I love to what? And I, I love to, to go, go there. there. I love to go there. <laughs> and I love to go there, right? It's an amazing city. And I love I love to go there. Go there. Yeah, it's very amazing. good job. Okay. And I love to go there. So go very nice. Excellent job groups. Excellent job people. So Taipei is very nice and everyone is extremely friendly, right? The, street, the streets are crowded. It's easy to get around though. The weather is nice. Summers get pretty hot, however. And shopping is great, 
but you have to bargain in the markets. The food is delicious and it's not too expensive. The food is delicious. It's not too expensive though. It's an amazing city and I love to go there. Excellent. So all your answers were correct. Totally. Very nice. So this is the moment for you to be original. I have here some examples and they say, I got examples from our country, right? I got examples from the things that we know. And I wrote, a taco is very nice, but it gets really cold sometimes. Chalatenango is very beautiful and it has several places to see. Shopping malls are big. They are always crowded though. The process is easy. It's really long, however, okay? So these are the sentences that I created. What about you? It is your moment to create original examples using N, but, though, and however. Okay, students, we are going to be original right now. I need you please to create four examples. One with and, one with but, one with however, and one with though. As you can see here, I have examples from real life, right? A taco is very nice, but it gets really cold sometimes. Chalatenango is very beautiful and it has several places to see. Shopping malls are big. They are always crowded though. The process is easy. It's really long, however, okay? So this is your time. I am going to give you some minutes, around five minutes for you to create your sentences. They have to be original and about the things that we know. Okay, go ahead. It's time for you to get creative. How many sentences teacher? You are going to create four sentences. Four sentences. One wow. sentence with and. I go on, it's only four. One <laughs> sentence with but, one sentence with however, and one sentence with though. Okay? Okay. Yeah, with teacher Nati, you are going to improve your calligraphy because we write a lot. <laughs> Here we are going to improve there the handwriting, but it is necessary. So we practice listening, speaking, reading, and writing. And whenever you are ready, raise your hand. And if you need help to raise your hand. Yes, Mr. Diego, do you have a question? No. Okay. I am here at your service. Okay. You look very, very uh, concentrated and that's fantastic. I would like to take a picture of you there, very concentrated. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good, good, good. This is creation time. Okay, I am going to 
look for the volunteers who are going to read the sentences. I am going to check for people that I haven't listened tonight. Josabeth Arias. It's going to be one of the volunteers. Okay, so Josabeth, get ready. Romulo, great. You raise your hand. Amazing. Let me see. I am going to listen to Jessica Jimenez as well. Jessica Jimenez. And let me see. I am going to look for another volunteer. Judith del Carmen. Okay, Romulo, can you help me with your sentences to see the examples that you have while the other one's finished? The microphone. That was just me by this. But the four sentences, teacher? You can choose one right now for the okay. example. Later on, we're going to check them on the chat, okay? Okay. I would like to go shopping. I don't have no money, however. <laughs> Okay, so I would love to go shopping. I have no money, however. Okay, very nice job. Excellent. Okay. Fantastic. Two claps for you. Josabel, do you have your example? Josabel? Josabel, sorry. Okay, ah, Judith is ready. Go ahead. My little brother is nice, but is very naughty. <laughs> okay, good. Sorry for your little brother, right? He was, I think it's just an example, okay? Very good. Excellent. Just have it. Thank you, Judith. Just have it, go ahead. A paneka is very beautiful and... It's always ice cream. It's always right. Sorry, I I couldn't get your answer straight. Can you repeat your answer, Josabet? Or if not, you can send it on the chat. Okay. Something very important to remember, right? And thanks to Elizabeth who was mentioning, as you check on the sentences right before we use and, but, however, and though, we need to write something important. What is it? It's a punctuation mark. Uh-huh, Elizabeth, tell me. Tell your classmates about it. It's the same, a comma, right? We need to use a comma, right? Comma. Remember, before and, before but, before though, and before however, you need a comma, right? It's important to remember it. Uh, Josabeth, please send your answer on the chat because we couldn't uh, hear your answer completely. And the last one is going to be for Jessica Jimenez. Can you give us one example? Okay, I like practice sports. I can practice every day, however. I can practice every day, however, right? Very, very, very nice job, the one that you did today in the class. I am very, very glad with your participation and everything that you did. And as you can see here, this is what I was mentioning, right? I have and, I have but here, however, and though. And all of them have a comma before. Okay, that is something for you to keep in mind and for you to use it, okay? So that will be everything for today's class. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have any other question, remember we are always available on the chat, right? We are always there open for uh, questions if you need it. So please don't doubt on contacting me on the chat, okay, if you need any extra help. So, needs not tomorrow. How, uh, when am I going to see you? Goodbye. When am I going to see you again? On Monday, okay? Monday. Monday. I am Monday. going to see you on Monday. Thank have a beautiful you. weekend, rest a lot, and have a very, very good night. See you on Monday. 
same you time, same place. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you on Monday. Bye. 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 See you on Monday. Good Take good care tomorrow. of yourselves. Bye-bye. Oh, it was a you. pleasure to see you. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Practice your English and work on the platform. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>